Welcome in everyone. It is Blood Moon today. Brand new portal, uh, brand new event track. We'll show you some of the stuff that's on there now. Uh, you get some purple skin. So I quite like the earring. Uh, but yeah, they've come with like a sort of a vampire theme for this one. I thought the teeth would stick out a little bit more than that, but it is what it is. I quite like the weapons that are in the track. That's a pretty cool hammer, to be honest. And the sword is not bad either. Uh, so yeah, there's some there's some cool stuff on here. The armor is sort of vampire themed, Dracula type thing. Uh, these sunglasses, they turn the eyes red underneath i think i'd have preferred just red eyes without the sunglasses uh but yeah that's pretty cool the carmilla skin is pretty good i quite like that one i think i'll be using that in the future quite like that one there is the rest of the armor and there's a coffin cape as well which is quite cool Not sure if I'll use it much, but yeah, that's quite cool. It's not too bad overall, in my opinion. Let me know what you think about the skins on the reward track in the comments. And then into the portal. The magic number for this portal is 19. And that means that if there is 19 enemies alongside the boss, there is a chance to get a double boss, a boss on round 3 and round 5 as well. So just letting you know about that before we continue this portal it's got the transforming enemies uh, so it can be quite annoying i'm just going to show you how some of these enemies work it's not as annoying as demon gate though because once these werewolves do transform they don't have the ability to transform back like you see in demon gate so you can pretty much take as long as you want to deal with them and it's going to be absolutely fine now the one thing about these werewolves is they have an insane crit rate if you watch when the numbers go big that's a critical hit see the first one it was about 8,000 and then the second one was 24,000 that were critical so it makes using Carmilla for this portal actually really useful and I'm going to show you the portal boss as well which his skill revolves around this you see his skill charges every time he lands a crit so if you watch, I'm gonna I'll take it slow with this fight a little bit just to show you how it works because it, not a lot of people know how this works properly. As soon as he scores a crit, that skill will charge up and then his skill gives him focus and it heals all the rest of the team as well. So once he's got it off once, it basically guarantees him to charge it every single turn. And this is what makes Car Miller essential for surviving in this portal, especially if you're a bit of a newer player and you don't have as much power or as much armor as some of the older guys that are about. So you see now he put focus and fury on himself and then he's just going to crit every time he hits you. And all the other werewolves are going to crit every time they hit you and you're going to take a lot of damage very quickly. So what you do is if you want to focus him before he gets a chance to crit, then it cuts that cycle. He can't charge his power because he can't land a crit. But then everything is so much easier because nothing is critting and it's all fine. But remember the buffs and the debuffs, they overwrite each other. So as soon as he's done his skill there, if I unfocus him, he won't be able to charge his skill anymore. Uh, this comes in key when we talk about auto, auto in this portal, which I know is a question a lot of you have. Can I auto this portal? Can I get maximum points? Do I have to sit and play it? Well, you can auto it. I'm going to teach you how to auto it in a minute. Now then, for autoing this portal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the alchemist charms. I'm just going to equip any random low level weapon, don't matter what it is. And I'm going to equip a gauntlet that does not speed up the heroes that I'm using so I've chosen the champion's gauntlet because the champion's gauntlet it speeds up rogue heroes and I've decided to use Vaudry and Carmilla which is 
Mage and Alchemist respectively. So it's not going to speed them up. And then if I take off the Alchemist Charms as well, I tried it with Alchemist Charms and Carmilla seemed to be taking them out before they got a chance to transform. It worked pretty well, uh, but I missed out on about three or four of them. So I decided without any Hero Charms whatsoever is better. I've sped the video up because obviously I'm autoing. The point of this build is to just press auto and put your phone down, forget about it. And the reason it works is Carmilla unfocuses everything, which gives you a lot of survivability. She heals you as well. She doesn't actually, she doesn't even particularly need to be leveled up to land that on focus. It's gonna work. And uh, because Far Dry only deals small damage, but then the burn deals quite a lot of damage, it comes in like a two-step thing, so it does give them plenty of chance to transform before it knocks them out. And if you watch to the end of this clip, just autoing with this strategy, I managed to clear out the whole portal and let every single enemy transform for maximum points. So this is my method for autoing this portal. And if at any point you do see that your health is low and you think you need a heal, you can just stop the auto and you can rage Carmilla. Uh, so yeah, that is how you auto the Blood Moon portal. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have been James B. Good luck out there.